Hi, this is Johnson from Langford International Academy. Today, I am going to discuss a case note which is loosely based on one of the OET exam question papers. Now, let's move on to the video. Langford International Academy Your passport to the world of opportunities. You can download the case note by clicking on the link below. Now, you can pause the video for 5 minutes to read the case note. When you get the case note, the first thing that you need to do is to read and understand the writing task. To understand the writing task is to understand who you are writing to and the purpose of your letter. Well, here you are a surgical nurse in a post-operative ward and your patient has undergone a cabbage that is coronary artery bypass graft and now you are writing a letter to a rehabilitation center for rehabilitated cardiac rehabilitative care for the patient. So this is the scenario. Now we start with, let's start with the writing task. Okay. So writing task, using the information in the case note, write a transfer letter to Mr. Smith Brown, head of nursing rehabilitation center. Address this letter to Mr. Brown, Head of Nursing, Brisbane, Australia, 4001. Okay, now let's read the whole case note, starting from notes. So you are a surgical nurse in a post-operative ward. So that is your designation, a surgical nurse in a post-operative ward. Your patient is ready for discharge today after cabbage surgery. Well, now as we move forward, we have to select and reject information according to their relevance and irrelevance. Okay, now today's date, that is the date of writing, 29th May 2021, that needs to be selected. Patient details, of course, we have to select. Darvish Woods is the name and uh, he is 77 years old. Now diagnosis, coronary artery bypass graft. Usually we get the disease condition of the patient as diagnosis, but here diagnosis is, is the procedure that was performed on the patient, that is coronary artery bypass graft, which needs to be selected. Now coming to the family history. Married, care for his wife, bracket, registered blind. This information needs to be selected because in the discharge plan, it is mentioned to arrange care and meals before discharge to home. That means the patient is unable, patient will be unable to cook for himself or his wife and even his wife may not be able to do the same just because she is blind. So we need to connect it. So that information from the family history needs to be selected. Now the other two information like daughter, married with the children and lives overseas hobbies, reading, cooking daily. This information can be rejected. Now coming to the next, that is past medical history. Patient has hypertension since 2011, perindopril, one tablet daily, high cholesterol since 2009, atovastatin, one tablet daily, arthritis since 2007, paracetamol, one gram daily, four times, and CID, that is coronary artery disease for which patient has undergone ECG, stress test and angiogram. <clears throat> so since we are sending, since you are sending the patient to a re cardiac rehabilitation center for three weeks uh, rehabilitation, uh, it is always good that you take this information into your letter. Now the next one is surgery, off pump cabbage that needs to be selected. Now coming to the next paragraph, next that is 23rd May 2021. Patient's admission to hospital, was, um, ICU, observation stay, all these things are there. So, admitted to hospital, underwent surgery on 24th May 2021, graft from left leg. This also is important just because in the discharge plan, it is mentioned to provide dressing to the graft site as well. So, this information also needs to be selected. Admitted in ICU for 24 hours administered IV antibiotics, analgesics, and the thrombolytic agents, chest tube in situ, two, drainage 20 ml, then all the vital signs, dressing in graft site, 
provided elastic stockings elevated leg for 24 hours so these things were happened while the patient was in observation for 24 hours and his uh, ICU observation was uneventful. So this information needs to be placed in your letter but in not in an elaborate way. It should be concise. Okay. Now coming to the next where the patient was transferred to the ward. The chest tube was removed, wounds WNL that is within normal limits. Complaints of pain over the chest and shoulder for which brufen was administered daily physiotherapy, deep breathing exercises working 4 to 5 minutes 4 times per day, exercise data sheet provided, then vital signs. So these also need to be placed in your letter but in a concise manner. So as I write the letter you will come to know how I concised it. Now coming to 29th May 2021 patient is ready for discharge plan transfer to rehabilitation unit for three weeks that is what now we are doing now follow up appointment on 7th june 2021 this information also needs to be mentioned in your letter that can be so that can be selected now discharge instruction these are the most important things that you need to elaborate in your letter just because you are sending the patient to rehabilitation center for cardiac rehabilitation for three weeks and these are the things that the recipient needs to practice need to help the patient comply with so these are the things assess wound over the chest and craft site dressing over the wound two times weekly until sutures removed suture removal after two weeks continue deep breathing exercises walking four to five minutes increase gradually avoid heavy lifting arrange care and meals before discharge to home okay so um, as we start the letter we have to start the address part the address part is not evaluated but we need to ensure that it is written perfectly <coughs> And there is no fixed format when it comes to the address part. You can either start with the address of the recipient or the date of writing. But here I have gone with the address of the recipient. So Mr. Mr. Smith Brown, Head of Nursing, Brisbane, Australia, 4001. That is the address. Now, date of writing, that is 29th May 2021. So in between you need to leave a line space after the date of writing you have to leave another line and write the salutation that is dear mr brown there you can place a comma then leave one line space and write the reference regarding re colon patient's name full name that is darvish woods comma aged 77 here if uh, in almost all the OET official uh, case notes they will provide date of birth if the date of birth is given in the case note you need to go with date of birth not the age but here in this case not only age is given so let's go with age so aged 77 now the address part is over now we need to go for the introduction so you can choose any way that you want whatever way you are taught you can write maybe starting with i am writing to refer or i am writing to transfer but here i have gone with the patient's name that is mr darvish woods so let's see how i have written the introduction so mr darvish woods coma who underwent off pump coronary artery bypass graft harvested from the left leg i just mentioned it this way harvested from the left leg just because the recipient needs to provide wound dressing for the patient on the graft side so we can mention it there as well so harvested from the left leg on 24th may 2021 coma is being transferred to your service for continued care for the next three weeks this introduction is a little elaborate but i have made sure that the recipient gets a clear picture of the purpose okay now coming to the second paragraph in the second paragraph 
I have combined patients ICU stay for 24 hour observation and ward stay. So let's see how I have written this. There are so many things in the ICU, uh, all the medications, everything is there, but I have not included anything of that because the recipient does not need to continue these medications for the patient. So I have just mentioned it in a very concise manner. So let's see. Following Mr. Wood's uneventful post-operative stay in ICU for 24-hour observation, comma, he was transferred to ward where his chest tube was removed and his wound appeared healing well. Now, he made routine post-operative recovery with a normal exam except for pain over the chest and shoulder which was managed with the brufen. He was initiated on daily physiotherapy. I usually find the candidates writing initiated with, but it is always better to write initiated on. So, he was initiated on daily physiotherapy and exercise data sheet was provided. So, I think uh, we have all included all the information that we find in the ICU uh, and uh, ward everything. Now coming to patient's social history, we have mentioned one particular point there just because in the discharge instruction it was mentioned that uh, uh, you need to arrange uh, carer and meal for the patient when the patient is discharged. So let's write it this way. Mr. Wood is married and lives with his blind wife. Then. Uh, uh, definitely we have to mention patients pre-existing disease conditions and uh, medications just because you are sending the patient for a cardiac rehabilitation center for three weeks stay there. So let's write it this way. His medical history is significant for coronary artery disease, hypertension and high cholesterol. Now his regular medications are perintopril, atorvastatin and paracetamol. Now uh, the discharge instructions. I have made two paragraphs. In first paragraph I have just placed information. In the second paragraph I have made request. So let's see how it is done. So upon transfer Mr. Woods has been advised to refrain from heavy lifting and continue deep breathing exercises and walking four to five minutes which can be increased as tolerated. Of note, he has a follow-up appointment on 7th June 2021. This uh, year is not necessary there. So just write 7th June. That will be enough. You mentioned the year only once. If uh, throughout the uh, letter you have the same year, you can mention it once and later on you can write only the date and month. Okay. Now coming to the concluding paragraph where I have placed request. So it would be appreciated if you could assess the wounds over Mr. Wood's chest and graft site and provide dressing changes twice weekly until suture removal after two weeks. It would also benefit him if you could arrange a carer and meals before discharging him back home. Should you have any further questions? please do not hesitate to contact me. So this is the end of this letter. So I hope it was worth watching. If you like the video, please ensure that you like it, comment on it and subscribe the channel. Thank you.